Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris where we are, according to my notes here, preparing to attack the Zaplo Fanatics. We are currently upgrading our fleets, I believe? Yes we are. This is the start of a new play session. Play session even. <laughs> I'm still just trying to get a little bit accustomed to where exactly we are here. So I do see that we do have two available new star bases. So we could theoretically completely surround these Zaplo holdings with star bases by upgrading at Rathador. This would delay us. We're currently at a strength of 609 here. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and do this. At the very least, it might delay them a little bit. So let's go ahead and do that. I do see that the Zaplo are still attacking the Hifnar, so we do want to go ahead and do this as soon as we can, because we don't want the, the Zaplo to take over all of this territory. This down here is bad enough. We also see that they've got a transport fleet up here, they have a second small fleet here, so they have about 30k strength down here. That's adorable. And then back in their home systems, they have, let's see, that's 1.4, 3k. Looks like they have pretty close to the same back here, around 30-ish k. Well, they definitely can't punch through any of our enclosure stations, even though those are not yet fully built. Since those are about 30k strength, and we'll be going up substantially. In fact, now that I look at this, we can queue up for each of these all of our defense platforms. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. For Gatria, ion cannons, and a bunch of defense platforms as well. Excellent. Same thing here. Now this will take a fair amount of time for all that to come online, of course, but that's fine. We're not really ma wasting much for minerals because we're always mineral capped, and we will be re-mineral capped here in a few months. So that's not a big deal. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. And then we need to wait for, I think it's, which one is further out from being upgraded? This one. We're at 74% for our upgrades. So let's go ahead and tick forward a little bit here. We are on normal speed. Should probably go up to fast. There we go. Okay, so let's see what exactly they do here. If all of these guys drift into here, then we can wipe them out theoretically here. Presumably this station isn't very strong. That is correct. They're, se they're currently sieging the archives. That's what they're doing over there. The Hifnar are trying to group up, but they're Construction complete. really, really losing this. Okay, Fabricator 2 needs something to do. Well, we'll go ahead and grab the Unix system. It's not as creepy as it sounds. We also need to get the Jillis system ready to go, so we're going to go ahead and do that. There we go. And then as far as these stations go, I mean... We do want to get them as powerful as possible as quickly as possible. Because we don't want to be waiting on those stations, for sure. I mean... We are currently at a place where the Zaplo fleet power is inferior complete. to ours. So that's good. Let's see, ESS Assembler 5, this guy. Go ahead and build mining stations there. That'll be fine. Excellent. Okay, so... Oop. You okay, Stellaris? There we go. Just had a bit of a hitch there. We're fine. Let's see, this one is at 95, this one's at 87%. So, yeah, we're, we're gonna see what exactly we go up to. I believe we are adding in those fancy new shield systems. Specifically, dark matter deflectors here. So that should significantly improve our defenses, and should give us a lot more staying power against these guys. Looks like the Zaplo are actually sending all their fleets in to attack Ships over refitted. here. Okay, this one is refitted, and it did go up by about 10,000 strength. So the question is... What do we got left over here? Like... We could attack over here, 
pretty easily. This will be the stronger one, so let's send Legion 01 to Tuayama for now. We'll just have them be hanging out there for now. They're going to be moving out from there momentarily-ish. But for right now, that'll be fine. So, how long on this one? You're at 96%? Not long. Okay. So these guys are going to head to Avakania when they're done. And then we need them to, like, wipe out all of these Zaplo fleets over here. Well, there's two Zaplo fleets over here. It's going to be kind of an awkward multi-front war. That's that's definitely for Construction sure. Construction complete. Hey, we did finish our starbase over here. So, like I said, we want these as strong as possible, as quickly as possible. So I think we go ahead and build modules and a target uplink computer in each of these right now before we do an upgrade. Target uplink computer, and then just queue up an upgrade for them like that. Actually... This upgrade would take 576 days. Maybe instead of doing the target uplink computer right away, we spam out eight defense platforms. Just to get them as strong as possible. And then we do the target uplink computer. Because those can get out a lot faster. And theoretically, we should be able to get that to be a reasonably potent uh, defensive platform relatively quickly. We also need to get the ESS Assembler 3 doing something. Why, why is it here? Oh, right. We were raided out up this way. Okay. Well, we want to get it out of here, for sure. So let's have it head over towards Crash. We don't have the influence to actually do anything in Crash, but that'll be fine. So let's go ahead and get the Legion 01. Hmm, let's see here. They have a fleet here, they have a fleet here. Wait, Task Force? That's Hifnar? That's Hifnar. Which, which way are they going? Are they retreating? They're retreating. Okay. Well, we're not going to be fighting the Hifnar. So, I'm kind of thinking... Well, that's This is their main threat up here. They've also got a very minor threat here, and an extremely minor threat here. So let's go up to Jurup and be ready to jump into Grugmora. We should be able to take this even with their station here. We are so much stronger than last time, and they are so much weaker. And then Legion 02, your primary mission, actually, is going to be to wipe out these Zaplo fleets that are over here. Specifically, well... Are you going to go kill yourself on this Hifnar station? That would be convenient. We're going to go into Zoblar and be ready to jump over here. We're not going to declare until our fleets are in position for sure. Okay, I'm not sure where this fleet is going. Attacking Starbase. Yeah, but what Starbase, though? <laughs> that would be some useful information right there. Information that we don't currently have. So once we clean up this over here, this fleet's mission will be to clean up the fanatics over here, and we should probably move our Colossus into Tuayama. And then this fleet, once we clean up this over here, will come down here and take this territory. That's kind of the concept. ESS Assembler 3, we now have the influence to build an outpost at Crash, so we will. Excellent. And looks like the Hifnar are maybe thinking about attacking. Heavy on the maybe. Yeah. I mean, we'll see. Our, our two stations up here are de decidedly unready and will not be ready for a little while. Looks like the Zaplo are actually moving out again. That's interesting. How is this war going, anyway? It's still dragging on. It's not going to be ending anytime soon. So maybe we give it a little while extra. Let's see, we've got a Hifnar force coming in here. 
The Hypnar are attacking, it looks like. What's going on down here? Are the Zaplo pulling back? Kind of. These guys are, I think... I'm not sure where they're going. They're going to attack Starbase, wherever that is. This is the only war these guys are in. And this fleet isn't amazingly strong. There's another Zaplo fleet there. Now, these fleets are going to cause a fair amount of damage. With them just running around our territory like this. Which is one of the reasons why I'm kind of hes hesitating on complete. starting this war until we have these a little bit more complete. ESS Fabricator 2 can go ahead and build mining stations back in Yunnik. That'll be fine. Okay, so we're up to 2.3k with just a gun battery. So we should at least wait until our missile battery is ready, I think. That should bring us up to around 4-ish K, and then they'd have to attack with one of their larger fleets. But it looks like they're actually moving out. Yeah, they're moving out with their primary fleets. Presumably to attack the Hifnar. Although these guys are Hifnar, okay. And these guys are attacking in here. They're going to lose this, are they not? Yeah, they're going to lose this. That's fine. That's better for us, complete. in fact. Okay, these construction ships. You need to go ahead and build mining stations. And you can go build an outpost up in Quanaga. That'll be good. So we have more Zaplo fleets going around this way to attack Kamla. That appears to be their primary Science target Division right now. Reports a new breakthrough. We did just get our kinetic weapon damage increase, which is interesting. Um, given these options, I feel like armor hit points will be a good one to go for. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We definitely need to attack. They are going to kill this station, eventually. What do they have up here now? They have a 16k fleet here. So that would definitely defeat Rathador. Maybe we move down here and attack this way first, since the only fleet that they have in here that can potentially break out is this. And then once we're in position to kill this fleet, then we'll declare war and whatever happens over here is fine. We don't we we can chase it all down later. It's not a big deal. Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and do that. That'll buy a little bit more time for these two stations to bulk up. It won't bulk up much, but it will buy a little bit of time. Where did that get that fleet go? Oh, back to Kongath. Okay. Well, that's perfectly fine. So we want you to be... Actually, are you heading back to to Grugmora? Let's get back up here. I think he's heading back to Grugmora. At any rate, out over here, he can't get out. He would die. So we're perfectly fine to go ahead and go back up here. If he's going into Grugmora, then we catch them here. Let's see. Merging with an attack swarm. Ah, down here. Okay. That's actually fine. Yeah, that's completely fine. Okay, um, are we in position? Are we ready? This is Hifnar. This is Hifnar. This is Zaplo. So this would be a problem. Where are the, the other Zaplo fleets, though? Are they returning home for some reason? No. Okay. I guess this is their only fleet that they have out here. So let's wait until this fleet attacks this station, I guess. 
The station is at 28.2k and should defeat this fleet. There is this Saplo fleet here that is currently in combat with this station and I believe is going to win. Yeah, they're going to win. They're going to take some pretty heavy losses, though. Construction complete. Okay. Let's get these construction ships going. We can move here. We can't actually build anything, though. And then we can get that done. Okay. What are you guys doing? No orders. Okay. Well. I think we still wait for this fleet to get to where it's going. Merging with the attack swarm. That's this attack swarm up here? No. What attack swarm is it merging with? The Ragakin Yi. That's not this one. Is it one of these up here? No. Is it this one that's attacking? No. Okay, I'm confused where this thing is going. Idle. Why is he idle? Well, I don't actually know. But I feel like we'll take some losses up here. But I feel like that's okay. Isn't it? These guys are kind of pincering themselves in over here. We're in position to attack Grubmora. We're in position to attack this cluster of consonants. Hmm. I think... I think we're ready. Let's try this. Standing by to commence offensive operations. Weapons free. Repeat, weapons free. Okay, so they are demanding what exactly? What are their war goals? Um, where does it say war goals in this? Am I just blind? No. It doesn't say. That's okay. So we're going to go ahead and... Oh, we need to tick one day. There we go. We're going to go ahead and go into here. Like I said, we're going to take some, some hits up here. That's fine. We need to go ahead and jump into Grugmora right now. They also have a gateway in Galliman. All of our gateways are defended. The only way they have to get out that they could break out is Rathador. So this is what we need to watch out for, is if they head over to Rathador. And then down here, we've got these. I mean, they're going to do some damage to us up here. I, I'm well aware of that. And then we've got this attack swarm down here, which we can handle easily enough. And then we're just going to come in here and take out all of this. They also have a gateway construction site here. Apparently they don't like using our gateway much. Okay, well... We need to head on in. Engaging enemy station. There we go. We are engaging on multiple fronts, I believe. Yes, we are. We shouldn't have any real problem anywhere. This should be just fine. Okay, how are we doing up here? Where are there... Navy's going. Still no orders over here, actually. And these guys jumped out this way and are going to fight these Hifnar. The Hifnar will keep them busy there for a little bit while we finish off this station. There we go. So this is now kind of under our control. <laughs> we should jump up here if we can catch these guys and see if we can't take them out. Now, as far as up here goes, this station will die very, very shortly. Station reports enemy contact. Okay, where is that station that reports enemy contact at? Over here? Yeah, they're fighting the Hifnar. They're, they're, they're gonna win against the Hifnar, is the thing. But that's fine. So, we, take, we took Grugmora... Now, we can't get out of here in the direction I would like to go, in this direction, because of FTL inhibitors. But what we can do is we can come over here, 
the Grigmora station is gonna be pretty weak for a while, but that's fine. We took out their primary shipyard. That's the important thing. Looks like they have their second fleet coming in over here. They they aren't happy about this, but the, the Hifnar are actually holding them here nicely. So we're gonna be able to jump in and reinforce the Hifnar. And then I'm kind of thinking, as far as this goes, well, we probably do want to go research this project. So we're going to go do that. And we will be up here in 16 Fleet days. There's no way they get out. Yep. We caught them. Excellent. Now we are taking a bit of damage. Um, this fleet here, we should go ahead and reinforce. This fleet, I don't think we can reinforce while it's in combat, but that's fine. Yeah. We are just demolishing these guys. Absolutely no worries. So we're going to go ahead and reinforce this fleet. And then honestly, I feel like we let the Hifnar do what they're going to do up here. And we go grab these systems. Like so. And then, looks like they're doing exactly what I thought they'd do, and they are trying to push out into Rathador. We are in position to defend that, though. So that's good. Jurup and Rathador will soon be leveling up as well. Actually, they're retreating to Kongath. Okay. Construction that's fine. Complete. No worries here. From Wildor, we can strike at three of their systems. Looks like they might try complete. to go retake Gr Grugmora, but Grugmora is healing itself quite quickly. So they're going to be hard-pressed to take that back. ESS Assembler 3 needs something to do. We'll go over here and grab Listara. And Fabricator 2 needs something to do as well, but we don't have the influence to grab another system. So I guess it's going to chill. Now, there is always the option of coming in here and grabbing this system rather than going down here first. I don't think they can construct down here, can they? We don't get to see their modules from this from this window. But I'm willing to bet these are both just defensive stations. So yeah, I think actually we come in here and we siege the archives. And then we bring our army up to enter orbit above the archives, like so. And then that stuff down there is mostly under control. We'll be taking Wildor <laughs> that quickly. Just that quickly. ESS Elucidator should come up here and research this project. ESS Voyager? Well, I think we can go ahead and have Gibraltar be researched here. That'll be fine. Okay. So, as far as this goes, we now have a choice. Do we want to attack Kongath? Or do we want to attack Galliman? Well, let's see. They have fairly hefty forces here and fairly mediocre forces here. They can reinforce over here with these. They would have they'd have to jump through Wildor to get to Galliman. And we could take control of their gateway. I feel like we take control of their gateway. That'll be the way to do it. Construction complete. Hey, Chi Draconis. Oh wait, did they just jump in and attack us? They just jumped in and attacked us. Okay, that's cute. <laughs> now which science ship did I send up here? This one? Okay. Go ahead and research all those projects. They do have FTL inhibitors here. Um, is that caused by a planet, though? It is. Okay. Construction complete. Who is this? Hostile fleet present in Grugmora. They sent 16k up there. Um, yeah, I'm not 100% convinced that they can do that. Let's... 
not build an ion cannon just yet. Let's build some defense platforms and then an ion cannon. I mean, they're, they're going to be hard-pressed to take this over, for sure. At least not without bringing in some of these other fleets down here. However, this seems like a decent place to go ahead and put a cut in here. So we've started cracking into the Zaplo Fanatics, and we will continue doing that next time. See you all then.